in this video I will show you how to use a mobile can opener to open a metal can instead of using a big kitchen can opener first thing to know is that when you're using any can openers they are all using the concept of leverage or pivoting as what we learn in physics to help you open the cans do you notice that the size of the can are most of it slightly bigger than the, than the main body or there's a small indentation right before the rim of the can uh, top or base so when you use a normal kitchen can opener you will realize that the device itself have two wheels have two circular wheels but one is the cutting wheel and one is just the rotating and the pivoting wheel and if you close them you will see that they are actually not resting on each other okay and in fact the pivoting wheel is slightly inside this is to allow this to, is to allow the pivoting wheel to rest under the rim of the slightly larger can top or bottom okay so when you press it when you clamp when you clamp the can opener the cutting wheel will just cut into the top or bottom or the opening of the can so, so when you apply that concept to using a camping or mobile can opener the same applies this will be the pivoting point and this will be the cutting edge so similarly you will rest the pivoting point under the rim of the can and then just let it push it upwards and then the other end where your hand is holding lift up so that the cutting edge goes down so that's what I meant by use, this uses the concept of pivoting so again, the pivoting point pushes up to, to rest on the rim of the can and then your hand also pull up so that the cutting edge can go down. It will not be as easy as using the kitchen uh, can opener because the pivoting point tends to slip off so you have to really ensure that not only you're pulling up but you're pushing in so that the whole can opener does not slip off one effect of using a mobile uh, can opener is that the top of the can ends up being quite jagged so you have to be very careful later on when you pull open the, the cover well it does take a bit of time but not too bad because you still get the work done and you don't have to bring a giant can opener from your kitchen was you don't want your mom to be chasing after you to return back her can opener now if you compare this this is large this is small we have even a smaller version okay 
So the same concept applies. This point will be the pivoting point, and this will be the cutting edge. Let me get nearer. So the pivoting point rests or pushes upwards against the larger rim of the can, and later on we just turn in this direction to cut the can. course by using this mobile can opener is a bit this much more difficult but we still get to use a much lighter device instead of bringing that humongous can opener from your mom's kitchen okay so one last tip personally, personally for me I don't like to open the can because it's quite sharp here you can see it so you run the risk of cutting someone so I will just rinse out the can after use and once done you can just fold it in and for you to press the can flat So once done, we can just fold in the cover of the can and if you can use your hand, use your hand or best if you have a stone or a hammer to just flatten the can. So by flattening the, by flattening the can, you ensure that this sharp cover doesn't drop off and cut somebody and also you are able to minimize your rubbish. So the next time you go camping, do not bring your mom's can opener. You can bring a camping can opener or if you want to go lighter, you can just bring this very simple and flat can opener. It works the same too.